Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. I am Daniel. I am Clint. Welcome back to another episode of Locked On Bulldogs here on Locked On Podcast Network. A member of Locked On Atlanta, proud mm-hmm. and happy to be over there as well. All things Atlanta, get over there, listen to them. Glad you're making us our first listen, or your first listen is our podcast. And thank you for I mean, wanting to talk like friend. It's all our we, first listen as well. We are literally, um, uh huh. Uh-huh. For the first time I'm hearing right what Daniel now. saying right now, right now. pre production meetings, by the way, just a little behind, we have just abandoned in totality. Okay. We got, by the way, uh, Daniel, an, an oldie but a goodie to the uh, Twitter is back up. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw this, uh, but Gurf is back. Gurf, Gurf oh. back. Gurf wow. Back. Well, so, number one, Gurf, T's and P's to your decision making process. You got back on Twitter. <laughs> that was not a That was not a wise move. Um, uh, but happy to have you around the show. M dubs. If you're out there, reach out. Is, is he, is, I just want to know you're alive at this point, brother. That's just all we care about. A flare. Uh, so, so give us something. We are fans. First and foremost, not gurus or insiders. We're going to give you insight from gurus and insiders of mock drafts today is what we're talking about, but we are not, we talk like fans do and we watch games like fans because it's fun being a fan. So be a fan with us. Leave us a comment down on the YouTube. If you're on the audio side, Stitcher, Apple podcast, mm-hmm. leave us a five-star rating and review. Let other people yes. know where you find it helps us out. Let us know you're there by putting out over to dogs podcast on Twitter. We will interact with you there. We enjoy it a great deal. Today, like I said, it's all things draft. So what we're going to do is we're going to go yep. through three segments of the draft. We're going to give you names and where we think they're going to be projected to go over under some numbers we've seen out there by some mock drafts as well as some betting sites. Uh, we're we, going to talk about Listen, we like people. to see Georgia Bulldog players make money. We uh, like to gamble. And so, so these what, are just what if I things told you? that really, really coincide. What if I told you that two things can be true at the same time? Um, So, Daniel, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over this draft. This is our preview for Thursday. If you're listening to this podcast tomorrow, there'll be the first round. And we hope to hear, let's not bury the lead, Daniel. Let's go straight forward. We hope, and rumor has it, that we're going to have a number one overall pick on this Georgia historic defense. Matt Stafford called. He said, the water's just fine. You might as well jump on in. You might as well become... Um, yet another Georgia Bulldog to bring it on in. Uh, carry that title of the number one overall pick. So let's just go over under Clint. One point five. One point five under. One point five for Trayvon Walker. Um, do you think he will be taken uh, first or not? Now, Daniel, I'm going to tell you why these. I, I'm going to give you a little bit of the background to my statement. One, okay. people who do draft coverage are stupid. Let me tell you why. Okay? Let me try okay. to encourage you. Malik Willis right now has odds to go number one overall at 66 to one. Okay. So what you're saying is the Jaguars are going to trade out of the number one pick. Somebody's going to come up to get a non-generational QB talent, a project at best, with the number one overall pick. He, he has the one, two, three, four, five, sixth best odds to go number one overall. This is ludicrous. Listen, Las Vegas will take your money. This is what we learned. Las Vegas will take your money if you want to be an idiot. They don't discriminate. Like they, say, they say, like, yeah, you want to take 66 to one? That's great. I will take that's, that's free money for Las Vegas. Um, the second thing, the Jaguars are ran by incompetent people. Mm, okay? okay. Again, Urban Meyer is kicking players, and this mm-hmm. is allowed to continue. Yep. Your GM and your owner are not on the same page as to who to draft number one overall. It is now public knowledge. They disagree on who to select. This is a recipe we, for disaster. Um, we have this real is why, problems. <laughs> yeah. This is why I'm saying over, Daniel. I, over I, would, love, I mm-hmm. would love for him to go number one. It would be mm-hmm. awesome. It would be he's fantastic. Go, he's go. It's gonna. He's he's going now. Third, fourth, or fifth, somewhere in that realm. So I say over. Yeah, I think if he doesn't go one, he probably doesn't go two either. 
No. And so I think he's down there probably closer to five than he is to one when all said and done. Um, I'll say under. I think I think he's got a I think I, listen, would I take him number one overall? I this is a Georgia podcast. Probably not. I probably wouldn't take him number one overall. And this is a locked on Bulldogs podcast. But look, NFL GMs, you could sell them on upside. And Trayvon's got more upside in his little finger than Aiden Hutchinson has ever had in his entire body. I will tell you this right now. The the potential that Hutchinson has and Walker has, they are not on the same plane. There is a multiverse of differences there, people. And let me tell you this. You say, well, Trayvon didn't really produce in college the way Aiden Hutchinson did. Sure. What about when Aiden Hutchinson went up against an NFL defense? Oops. Um, on I'm January, not. on December 31. How about how'd that go? On an NFL how'd caliber that? starting guard mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Def- how'd offensive that go? line. What or yeah. What about what about when Aiden Hutchinson matched up against real real talent? See again, yeah, real see. easy to look real good against Big Ten, Big Twelve people over there. Indiana ain't walking through that door. In Jacksonville. How okay. many now, Daniel? Really quick, what conference has the most NFL players drafted each and every year for the last twenty years? Which conference is that? It's just the it's just the one, the same conference, same one. Oh, every year. Yes, SEC. That's right. Okay, right, let's move on. Second, second player being projected um, in most mock drafts to go for the George Bulldogs is Jordan Davis, Clint. And Jordan if Davis. you had told me. Three months ago, that that was mm-hmm. going to be the case, I would have laughed and laughed and laughed at you. I would but as well. Jordan Davis did something at that combine, Clint. <laughs> that it's called he, it's called breaking the combine. Yeah, he NFL executives are currently meeting about whether or not they need to restructure the combine because of people like Jordan Davis. Like this is a is a problem for them. All right, so. <laughs> I'm going to put you right in the middle, the dead middle of the first round, Clint. And I'm going to go over under 16 for Jordan Davis. What do you think? Uh, Under. Give me under on this. He's either going to the Chargers. He's going to the Chargers at 10. uh, I forget when the Chargers. Chargers are 17. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Chargers are 17. Okay. So that Uh, would be over. Technically, That would be over. Um, then give me the Ravens. Uh, okay. Give me if it at 14. Yeah. Ravens at 14. I think that's a, a big time possibility. Uh, give me a guy like, um, uh, what's old, what's old, uh, ball coach's name up at the Commodores, uh, uh, the Commodores. Uh, yeah. Or the, or the commanders or the, com- I don't know, whatever their name is now, Daniel. Oh, the Washington is that Cleveland's is that Cleveland's baseball team? Is there that what we're talking about? I can't uh, know the commanders. The commanders. Uh, the commanders. Um, what's that Commodores old ball coach? are Vanderbilt's football team. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Bill's uh, Dan Snyder. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I think you want a tough, no nonsense player on D. Um, I think they can go there as well. I think the Jets could be a possibility as well. They want some edge, but I'm going to go under. Daniel, what say you? I'd probably say over, but I do think Jordan Davis cemented himself in the first round. Um, when you put that out at the combine, a team will trade up into the first round to take you if you're starting to slip. So yes, sir. Jordan Davis will be a day one first round draft pick. Um, I don't know. It'll be the top half of the first round. Somebody might just love Jordan Davis and – they might decide that they can't afford to to trade out of their spot. And so they, they just have to take him. You know, somebody wants them at 11, 12. It's probably That's what I mean. overreaching. It's, everybody's going to have their board gone. And yeah. they're going to be sitting there. And they're going to be like, the next person on our board is Jordan Davis. And this is insane value. All of a sudden, you're going to talk about value for a team. And they're going to have to select him because the board dictates yeah. that. Yep. Um, all right, we got tons more players to get to, Clint, because there's a million more Georgia Bulldogs that are uh, that are going to come off the board. Um, but first, um, we should probably pay pay some bills. We should. Hey, 
Y'all know about Built Bar. Built Bar is the tastiest protein bar on planet Earth. How do we know? Because we've literally tried them all. And when I say we've tried them all, many of you like guess that's just an exaggeration. I'm here to tell you. When we I have say, literally give me all the bacon and eggs that you have. I'm afraid what you heard me say was I would like a lot of bacon and eggs. I, what I, I said was all. we have tried all the Bill Bars. All of them. Fruit flavors, chocolate flavors, uh, birthday cake. We've tried them all with the crispy, with the mallow, with the the regular. They, they taste like a candy bar, and yet they're a protein bar. They are high in fiber, high in protein, low in sugar, keto approved. They are fantastic. On-the-go meal replacement, uh, pre-workout, post-workout, during workout. Some of y'all freaks out there just eating stuff in the gym, like teasing people. Just good on you, man. I, I can't do that life, but good on you for doing it. Uh, BuiltBar.com. Head over there right now. Put in the promo code uh, LOCKEDON15 for 15% off your entire order. That's BuiltBar.com slash, uh, I'm sorry, promo code LOCKEDON15 for 15% there off your entire order. Tasty's protein bar on planet Earth. All right, Clint. Who's, who's the next, next one? You on you have list. a you have a mock. I got Devonte Wyatt. I got Devonte okay. Wyatt here. Okay, next. the the one so I'm looking at the mock draft number for me. Yeah. Okay, Devonte Wyatt. I'm going to give you because on the mock draft that I have, he he's not the next player. So I'm going to go. Ooh, fascinating. I'm going to go. I, it is fascinating. I'm going to go twenty four, twenty four for Devonte Wyatt over under twenty four. I think most mock drafts that I look at have Devontae Wyatt going after 24. Okay. But I'm going to say under. I think of all the Georgia players, mm -hmm. Devontae Wyatt is the most likely to be a Mel Kuyper goes on a rant type of pick after it's made because – people are blown away that this player was taken this early. I think there's a chance that there is an there's an NFL room out there that loves Devontae Wyatt and is going to take him. I just this is a guy that late last year we were talking about him as like a third round pick. Uh, yes. Yes. He's now, I think, a lock in the first round. Now, if you were giving me those betting odds, if you give me a casino that's going to give me odds in the first round of Ante Wyatt, and whatever, I will take that and I will put a large sum of money on that. I think you're exactly yeah. right. He is a lock. Yeah. So who's the next name on your list that's ahead of Devontae Wyatt, Clint? Uh, Sports Illustrated put out a mock draft, and they have going 22 to the Green Bay Packers, Quay Walker, Daniel. Quay Walker up in the first round. Not Tyndall, not Nakobe, but Quay Walker. If Quay Walker gets drafted ahead of Nakobe Dean, I will I'm here to tell you. lose my mind. Daniel, I'm here to tell you that's going to happen. That I'm here to tell you that according to today's NFL, that All is right. going to happen. Let's go. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What are the stakes? I will take Nicobe Dean. I hold what on. Hold, oh gosh, this. By the way, that last last year we had a Mac Jones debate. I said Mac Jones was going to be mm -hmm. selected top five. I thought the Niners yeah. were going to take him. Uh, it turns out that Mac Jones was the best quarterback of the group, and I think that was he a was, and me. he went ten. But he went ten. Yeah, that wasn't the bet. I know it wasn't the bet. Daniel. I take Nicobe Dean before Quay Walker. For the record, before I take this bet, N'Kobe Dean's a better linebacker and should yeah, be taken. Yeah, that's not what we're betting. Okay. That's not okay. what we're okay. betting. Good. Yeah. I, well, I just wanted to make sure for the commenters that they didn't hear sure. me say something I didn't say. N'Kobe Dean right. is my boy. What do you, um, you want to put you want to put cash or you want to put the... Uh, we, go, we go dinner at the next Georgia game that we go to. This is the that's bet. Fair. That's the bet. Dinner N'Kobe at the next Dean, Georgia game we're at. N'Kobe okay. Dean goes ahead of Quay Walker. Quay. You got Quay. Um, are either of them first round picks, Clint, in your mind? I'm gonna put 32 and a half. That's that's yep. if you go under, you say first round. If you go over, you say second round. I'm gonna and I'm gonna give you both of them. Um, give me over unders for both of them at 32 and a half. Uh Quay is under, Nakobe is also under. I I think they are both under. 
You I think, think there's five have- Georgia Bulldogs taken in the first round? No. I think Nicobe, no. I think Nicobe Dean. Here's here's my here's what's gonna happen. Here's my guess. Here's my guess. My guess is they're gonna be a run on premium talent of wide receivers, quarterbacks, or offensive tackles. Something's gonna hit insanely bad, right? A team like the Patriots or a team like I'm trying to think of another uh, another savvy franchise, the Buck, the Buccaneers or something like that, are gonna trade back into the late first round for pennies on the dollar and select yep. Nicobe Dean. And they're going to plug him into a defense and stand back and smile for years to come. That's what I think is going to happen. I think I'm going to take over on both. I'm going to take Ooh. both Nicobe Dean and Quay Walker as second round picks. Um, Matt Miller of ESPN, his his most recent, his final mock draft. Listen to this. Has Nicobe Dean being the first pick of the second round to the Jacksonville Jaguars along with Trayvon Walker, the first pick of the first round, to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And all of a sudden, your boy might be buying a jersey. Like, we might be we might be I, in full sale. Like, they got rid of Urban Meyer, and now they've added these two dudes. Sign me up. Show me where to buy stock. Listen, they don't lose in Jacksonville. We know that. We know. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> You we love know these it. Scully Ready. How you know? What do you know about hey, this? What do you know Scully, about this? Scully, what's up, man? What's up, Scully? By the way, Listen. Scully is Scully is is all up in arms. By the way, in the comments that AR fifteen can't be stopped by us, Daniel. Can't For a long stopped. time, I thought this was a parody account, but now I I'm convinced too. that it's a real person. And Scully, if you're listening to podcasts, and I know you are, you, you're one of my top five favorite people that listen to this podcast all time. So of all thank time, thank you. Podcast. Thank you for being you. Never, never change. And if you um, think we're sarcastic about that, let me tell you, we are sincere as sincere. No, we we absolutely are. All right, um, Clint, I'm going to give you one more before we before we go to break again. Um, Thirty five. You said a run on premium talent. Here we go. So I'm going to say thirty five. Jorge Pickens. We're over under. Okay, my two likeliest scenarios for Jorge is either he gets selected in the top 25 or he gets selected after 50. What? Because here's here's my thinking. Either he everybody knows his first round talent and that he will be the best wide receiver in 3 4 years in the NFL and somebody is going to again t- reach quote unquote on him in the first round or the whole entire league has the same exact feeling on him that injury concerns, character concerns, not enough body of work, too big, yada, yada, yada. And he falls out of favor with people until the latter half of the second round. But if you're giving me 35, so, so 35 is a good number because it's right in between my two like hypothesis, right? It's yeah. I, yeah. So wh- I, what are you taking? I'm going to go under, under 35. This is a loaded wide receiver class. If you if you are looking for a wide receiver and you're an NFL team, Burks from this Arkansas is a uh, the kid from class. USC, uh, Alave Wilson from Ohio State. You got the, the Alabama receivers, James Williams, like um, and whatever the other guy's name Mechie. is, um, Mechie, Yeah, uh, you got you got so many great talented wideouts that I think the injury in a normal year, I don't think the injury hurts, hurts Jorge because the NFL scouts have seen what they needed to see. They've seen him go out and do what he, and that national championship game, Clint, they're thinking about it. it. They're thinking about it. it. Those, those GMs are thinking about it, but um, at the end of the day, there's just too many, Sure things at wide receiver, and you can't call Jorge a sure thing. And so I'm going to say over, over 35 for Jorge. Unfortunately, we got a we got a couple more Georgia players to get to in this draft. But first, Dan's going to let you know about Rock Auto. Well, Rock Auto is your auto parts superstore, and they're right there on your computer. And see, that's the beauty of it is you don't have to go to the auto parts store. You don't have to talk to the little sniveling kid behind the counter. He doesn't know what you need. He doesn't know how to fix your car. He's literally never fixed anything in his entire life. You understand what I'm saying to you? Never. 
at any point. You go to rockauto.com, you get the exact right par part for your car that you need. You get it from the privacy and convenience of your own home. You get it shipped straight to your door at a guaranteed low price, uh, and you get a reliable, proven part for your car, the exact right part that your car needs every part that your car will ever need at rockauto.com. When you go there, there's a how'd you hear about a section. If you type locked on, it helps us out. It lets them know that we sent you. It uh, supports the podcast uh, and it guarantees that you're going to get the exact right part for the guaranteed lowest price possible. Rockauto.com is the website. And no matter what you need, whether it's interior or exterior, mechanical or cosmetic, whatever the part you need, rockauto.com has it so go there right now enter the promo code or ha, right, type locked in locked on in the how'd you hear about us section to let them know that we sent you at rockauto.com all right a couple more names of note guys that we think should be rated higher daniel i have no idea in what world sawyer falls into the third round and yet daniel I, mm -hmm. here we are we're here and yet here we are he's too short or something I, I, i'm Listen, clueless nfl gms and like they told me everything i need to know about them with with nicobe dean do you understand they told I, me everything I, I need to know about them and now we got jamari sawyer who he can play inside he can play outside he can do it all he could play center in the nfl for 15 years hands down He's he nasty, may. he's a road grader, and he sets up in pass pro really well. He goes against the best of the best that anybody has, Alabama, Will Anderson, and Hutchinson, and, oh, the other fool on the other side of, of Michigan's D. They all went up against Sawyer, and no one had success, Daniel. No. So, uh, I don't know how he's fallen to the third round, Clint, but somebody's getting the gem. Somebody is getting a bona fide gem. Who gets drafted first, Lewis Seen or Jamari Sawyer? Lewis Seen. You think? I you think, think Lewis Seen. Lewis Seen's being mocked right now to the Detroit Lions at 32, Daniel. Ooh. All right. Matt Miller's got him significantly lower. He, you, he has Lewis Seen in the first round? Sports Illustrated has him in the first round. They call him, by the way, this is the this is the perfect nickname. They call him an absolute assassin. And I thought, correct. Oh, you, you've watched film. You you know yeah. who Lewis Seen is. Correct. Was. Matt Miller's got him at 46 to the Minnesota Vikings. And so that gives you an idea of what draft the draft could look like for Lewis Seen. There's a wide range of options that that we could be looking at. Um, who gets drafted first, um, Jamari Sawyer or Channing Tindall? You know, I again, I, I think just chart popping numbers and, and premium position, I think Tindall goes before Sawyer. I think so too. And to be honest, if I were an NFL GM, I'd take Tindall before Sawyer. I would but I would I take think, Tyndall before it took Quay, by the way, as well. But that's just well, yeah, that's just me. I think not in the NFL you wouldn't. In the SEC, I would. That's you but know not what? in I, the NFL. I think that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. Tyndall. Now, if I if I had a scheme in which I had like a, a singletary type blitzing linebacker where all he had to do was just either read run or pass and then just go after the quarterback or or go after the running back, then yeah, I would I would take Tyndall. But you're right. Quay's probably the better. Better today, NFL. Second, uh, who's the second skill position player taken for Georgia? It's got to. It's got to be Cook. It's got to be James. It has to be James Cook. I, if to I'm going to be honest, I think there's a chance James Cook could get drafted before Jamari Sawyer. Uh, Sixty. If if our numbers, you know, day second round, if it's you know sixty four is our number. I take Cook before 64. Which is crazy. If he's the second offensive player taken and um, and Jamar Sawyer possibly still hasn't gone. Uh, okay, I'm going to name uh, uh, Zamir White. Give me a round. 
fourth. Mm. Matt Miller's got him mocked to the New York Giants, which of course, of course, of course, of course he does. Patricia, how you doing? We're here. Patricia, we'll be we'll be there. We will. We'll see you soon. Locked on Giants. We will see you soon. Um, uh, who are we missing? Who have we not? Who have we not talked about? That need to talk about Darion Kendrick. Give me a round. You know, um, look, I know he has insane metrics on like passes allowed and all that stuff. But you look at the film. I didn't like his game being burned too much. I think he was a damn good dog. He won the natty with us. Like all that stuff. I can I can be critical. I think I think fifth round for him. Yeah, I think I think probably so too. I think there's probably some things that, but man, he's. He has gone up against some dudes, you know. And- That's what I mean. I, I, it's hard for me to criticize. There's a couple times he's been burned, but at the end of the day, he just says turn on. The yeah, film. I mean, there's like, a couple been- times he's got. There's a couple times he's gotten burned, but like he's getting. I mean, that's as a as a freshman against big time NFL wide receivers. So yes, um, does Justin Schaefer hear his name called in the draft? No. He doesn't, and that's a crying shame because he should. He absolutely will make a team yes. and might play snaps yep. on offense for a team next year, whether he hears his name called or not. I agree. Um, Anybody who we, whose name we haven't mentioned who I might hear his so. name called? I don't think so. Jake I think, Camarda? I think that- I mean, no. Come on. Maybe. Look, if, maybe. Look, y'all. If I'm a punter or a kicker, and like you just, you just, you know, you're not getting drafted. And if you do get drafted, shame on that NFL team. Like shame on you guys. Jake Kamara is pretty good. He is good. I know he's good. I hope um, somebody gives him uh, enough money to to kick in the NFL. Nobody's still listening to the podcast right now, <laughs> but you know we have an Australian punter, Clint, and we do we've not talked about it on the podcast. How how do you feel? Look, do you remember that kid, that Australian, that like 29 year old Australian punter from Miami that had the You mean tasks? all of them? You mean yeah. every single one of them? You, you were literally describing every single Australian punter who plays in, in, just, in NCAA. Just, he just had those sleeves. The dude didn't miss bench or arm day. And he just said, I, I've already mastered this punting thing. I'm just going to work out all day long. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to come out here and try to get a targeting penalty, is what I'm <laughs> going to do. I'm going to punt the ball. And then I'm going to lower the crown of the helmet and I'm going to be coming after you. Uh, I feel good uh, about it. NFL draft, guys. Um, I don't know if you're going to watch it or not. Let us know in the comments if you care at all. It's going to be an exciting day. It's going to be a day when uh, you're going to see a lot of video clips of Georgia winning the national championship is what uh, you're going to see, guys. And Kirby, so, Smart gonna, Kirby Smart going to get some FaceTime on ESPN. Oh, and he going to be out there crouting. You understand what I'm saying? He going to be crouting on that TV. Hoo-wee. All right. Um, y'all, enjoy the draft. We will be back later this week with more Bulldogs coverage here on the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. We'll see you later. See you.